Ben Johnson. If Scientology doesn't want to be viewed as a kooky space alien cult, then how do they explain away the Church of Spiritual Technology? Scientology scriptures sealed in 2300 titanium capsules in calamity-proof vaults in the middle of nowhere? Titanium is not cheap, and digging bomb shelters in the desert with directional markers carved in the earth that can only be seen from the air or space, sure, that sounds completely not weird. What was your knowledge of these sites when you were in the Sea Orc? Did you have any second or third hand knowledge of what these vaults were really like? Shiny and high tech, I hope. Or is this the ultimate con with 100% of the money that is regged for the CST funneled into the IAS slush fund? Uh, no, it is not a uh, con. There is a lot of money that the Church of Scientology has poured into these vaults, as you have seen, um, you know, or can see on the internet if you look up Trementia or, you know, Church of Spiritual Technology or Hidden Scientology vaults, you will find pictures and, you know, photos and, and maps and Google Earth uh, imaging of these locations. And Scientology, the Church of Scientology, is very serious about preserving L. Ron Hubbard's work for all of eternity. It is how L. Ron Hubbard uh, chose to become immortal. And he always had the goal, and I think he wrote in some letter back in the, in the 50s to one of his secretaries or something, he wrote about, or no, to his wife, he wrote to his wife one time um, earlier than that, earlier than Dianetics, that he wanted to slam his name into history. And, uh, and be remembered forever. And this was, a, you know, his brainchild to do that. Um, I did not know, and no Scientologists or Sea Org members are aware of, or at least are supposed to be aware, of those bases. They're not supposed to know where they are. They're not supposed to know who's working there. They're not, not supposed to know what goes on at them. They were ultra, ultra, ultra confidential. And I, while I was in the Sea Org, knew absolutely nothing about where they were located or anything about them. They are, the, the Church of Spiritual Technology is something most Scientologists don't know about, believe it or not. And this is one of the reasons why I say people outside of Scientology know more about it than people who are in. Because if you don't go on the internet and look this stuff up, then you're never going to find out about it. There is no written L. Ron Hubbard issues or uh, lectures or anything about the Church of Spiritual Technology. It was all, it, it, all that was uh, incorporated and come up with in the, in the early 1980s as part of the Scientology's corporate restructuring. And then money was put into the Church of Spiritual Technology to get it going. And then they have sold, they have regged Scientologists to contribute to um, the Preserve the Tech project. And they have shown Scientologists, okay, that it's, it's not that Scientologists don't know that this preservation is, is happening, it's just they don't know anything about the specifics of where and, and, and who, right? They know that this is going on, they just don't know anything else. They're shown, they were shown in the 1980s when there was a lot of research being done on all the NASA space technology to preserve this stuff and all the archival research that was done to you know, decide to put the Hubbard's works on titanium plates and put them on these, um, I think, nickel-plated records, right, that could be played on a solar-powered record player. You know, the idea being that if a nuclear war occurred or if civilization somehow wiped itself out, that this information would be preserved for all the ages. And there are not just Hubbard's works on titanium plates and nickel plated records, but also kindergarten level reading books and first and second, third grade books. So somebody who knows nothing about English or our language or our culture or any of that theoretically could get hold of this material, learn English from these books, and then Find, and then hear and read what L. Ron Hubbard had to say about things. And there's dictionaries. I mean, all everything has been thought through on this stuff. It's very thorough. There are Sea Org members who've been doing this for many, many years, and very few of them, really, literally, just a handful. And, uh, and that's the project. So that is what I know about it. And, um, and almost everything that I learned about the inner workings of it, I found out online from the one person, I believe, one person, uh, Dylan something, who 
defected, uh, was an ex-member of the Sea Org who, who took off, who had worked at, that one, at one of those locations. But believe me when I tell you that CST is under lockdown. You know, people have tried to drive out there or go out there or, or visit those places, and they are definitely met with a very cold shoulder, and no one goes near those places. So that's what I know about that.